Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about Samantha Markle's book about Meghan Markle, but it's more about her own family, her own family story rather than Meghan Markle. That's what I think, but people say, some people say otherwise, but I think they're going to be surprised. Newsweek website posted an excerpt of the book. That part dealt with the fact that Thomas Markle was hospitalized. What struck me is that Samantha is telling exactly the same thing that Meghan and Harry had been saying, which is that they were not able to get in touch with him. So she was in the U.S. and he was in Rosarito, Mexico. This is what she said. I was worried because I had not heard from him for several hours through early evenings. And I was speaking to him twice a day prior to that. She said, I called friends whom I knew spoke to him periodically, but who lived in another country and no one could get a hold of him. I could feel my heart pounding. I knew something was tragically wrong. I wanted to call police in Mexico or anybody just to have somebody track him down. I didn't hear from him until May 13, when he let me know that he was in a small charity hospital in Mexico after having a small heart attack and all they could do there was stabilize him and his doctor had him to, to go to Chula Vista Hospital in San Diego. So this is what was actually published in Newsweek, right? Newsweek wrote that Thomas Markle has said he had two heart attacks and in December 2018 provided the mail on Sunday with medical records as evidence of his hospital treatment. A court filing from Megan's privacy and copyright lawsuit against the mail on Sunday places the date of one of the heart attacks as May 14. It reads, on the same day, Mr. Markle began to feel very ill with shortness of breath and chest pain. He believed from the stress of the situation. Very late on Monday 14, he went to Chula Vista Hospital in California, where he was held in critical care for an hour and later diagnosed with suspected congestive heart failure. I found it strange that it was emergency, but he was only held for one hour. I went to the emergency. I had the same thing, shortness of breath, and my heart rate was going fast. And they hold me there for the whole night. For the whole night, I had to do a battery of tests. I got in at 6 o'clock. I left the next morning. So I find it so strange that he is having a heart attack, but he's only staying there for an hour. Anywho, this is the timeline that is given in the Newsweek article. In May 13, the Mail on Sunday runs CCTV's image of Thomas Markle staging pictures with photographer Jeff Rayner. May 13, Samantha says Thomas Markle notified her he was in hospital. May 14, the date court paper records Thomas Markle having a heart attack and going to hospital. May 15th, Megan texts her father asking him to call. May 16th, Thomas Markle has surgery following his heart failure. May 16th, Thomas Markle messaged Megan saying, I've done nothing to hurt you. May 19th, Megan Markle marries Prince Harry at Windsor Castle. So basically, what they're saying here is that the mail on Sunday article about Thomas taking pictures triggered his so called heart attack. So he's saying it has to do with stress, but I think that it's the embarrassment that triggered his so-called heart attack. He used his daughter to stage pictures and make money. They say they didn't make money, but it was shown that they got $100,000, both Thomas Markle and his daughter, Samantha. So you see here that Megan Markle called Tom many times and the text messages that she sent her father were shown at the trial against the uh, Daily Mail. This is what it says. So on May 15, Megan Markle wrote, I've been reaching out to you all weekend, but you're not taking any of our calls or replying to any text message. Then she sent another one saying, very concerned about your health and safety and have taken every measure to protect you, but not sure what more we can do if you don't respond. Do you need help? Can we send security team down again? I'm very sorry to hear you in the hospital, but, but need you to please get in touch with us. What hospital are you at? She asked him, what hospital are you at? Megan messaged again, 10 minutes later to say, Harry and I have made the decision earlier today and are dispatching the same security guys you turned away this weekend to be a presence on the ground to make sure you're safe. They will be there at your disposal as soon as you need them. So here it is, the text message she sent in May 
telling her father that she's sending the security guy again. The same security guy he had refused to have with him, which is very strange because he himself said many times during interviews that he was not protected. He was not given protection. Here on that text message that was shown during the audience for the lawsuit, it says that he was given protection, but he lied that he was not giving any protection. To be honest, I tried to fault Meghan Markle with her father, but I can't see how I can fault her. To be honest, one of the text message says, please, please call as soon as you can. All of this is incredible concerning, but your health is more important. She said here that his health is more important. She even asked, how are you? Thomas Markle said she never asked how he was, which is a lie. But you can see here in the text message that she said, and he said that she never said that she loved him in a letter that she wrote. What kind of narcissistic father is that? The only message he sent his uh, daughter was, I've done nothing to hurt you, Megan, or anyone else I know. Nothing about 20 phone calls. I'm sorry, my heart attack is, is any inconvenience for you. The funny thing is, she writes him to ask him how he was, to ask him where he is so she can send someone over. She asks so many questions, but then he never responds. And when he responds, it's just to complain about the fact that his heart attack is any inconvenience for her. But she never said it was. She said, I'm worried about you. What's happening? Tell us, where are you? So, I mean, seriously, something is very strange. The funny thing is, the next day, he was seen eating KFC chicken. You've had a heart attack. You were worried about a blood clot. But yet, the next day, after you come out of hospital, you go back to buy KFC chicken, which is junk food, literally. Anywho, I'm not going to go on with that and on and on about that. But I just wanted to uh, show you something I find very odd about Megan Markle's father account of what really happened. Also, tell me what you think about all of this. Anywho, hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.